Hi! Welcome to another edition of Mardon Technique PV. Tricky bat. Our last topic. Hey there. Subscribe the to my channel. For and also press this bell icon. The divisibility lesson that completes our divisibility lesson is the TBC ball by 7. So this topic is a bit uh, complicated. So I hope but I hope you still uh, cope up with the lesson. Divisible by 7. To determine if the number is divisible by 7, we need to do the following steps. 1. Multiply the last digit by 2. Number 2. Subtract the result to the remaining numbers. And number 3. Result must be a multiple of 7 or 0. Examples. Number 1. 98. The last digit is 8 and 8 times 2 is equal to 16. And the remaining number is 9. So 9 minus 16 is equal to negative 7. And negative 7 is a multiple of 7. But on the negative side, therefore 98 is still divisible by 7. So if we divide 98 by 7, the answer would should be a whole number. Number 2, 49. The last digit is 9. Then we multiply it by 2. So 9 times 2 is equal to 18. Then we subtract it to the remaining number. And the remaining number is 4. So 4 minus 18 is equal to negative 14. And negative 14 is a multiple of 7. And again on the negative side. So number 3. Therefore, 49 is still divisible by 7. So number 3, 63. The last digit is 3. We multiply it by 2. So 3 times 2 is equal to 6. And the remaining number is 6. So 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. As the rule states, the difference should be 0 or a multiple of 7. In this case, the answer is 0. Therefore, 63 is divisible by 7. So 9 times 7 or 7 times 9 is equal to 63. So therefore, our answer is correct. So for number 4, 126, and the last digit is 6, then we multiply it by 2. So 6 times 2 is equal to 12. And then uh, the remaining number is 12. So therefore, 12 minus 12 is equal to uh, 0. Therefore, 126 is divisible by 7. Number 5, 602. The last digit is 2. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4. And the remaining number are 60. And then 60 minus 4 is equal to 56. And 56 is a multiple of 7. This time on the positive side. So for number 6, 4200. The last digit number is is 0 and 0 times 2 is equal to 0 so the remaining number is 420 subtracted by 0 and the answer is still 420 still bigger numbers then we repeat the process for 420 uh, the last digit is 0 again so multiply again by 2 so 0 times 2 is equal to 0 so 42 minus 0 is equal to 42 and 42 is a multiple of 7 again on the positive side for number 7, 1,757, the last digit number is 7, and 7 times 2 is equal to 14. So, the remaining number is 175, so we minus, we subtracted it by 14, and the answer is 161. Still bigger number, so we're not sure if this is divisible by 7, so we repeat again the phrases. And for 161, this time, the last digit is 1. So, we multiply again by 2. So, 1 times 2 is equal to 2. And 16 minus 2 as the remaining number for 161. So, the answer is 14. And 14 is a multiple of 7. This is the exciting part. For the bigger number, there is an additional rules. Group the numbers by 3 digits each from right to left and alternatively 
subtracting and adding the numbers of three digits. For example, 624,988. So, group in three digits from left to right, then subtract. Since we only have two groups, so first group is 988. The second group is 624. And the answer is 364. It's still bigger number, so we are not sure if 364 is divisible by 7. So, therefore, We perform the previous rules. We're in for 364, so the last digit is 4. So multiply by 2, and the answer is 4 times 2 is equal to 8. So therefore, we subtract it by the remaining number, which is the 36. So 36 minus 8 is equal to 28, and 28 is a multiple of 7 on the positive side. Number two, one million two hundred seventy-seven thousand seven hundred thirty-eight. How I wish this could be my subscriber. Then group in three digit from left to right. Then alternatively subtracting and adding the group of three digit. First group seven hundred thirty-eight. Second group two hundred seventy-seven. And the third group is, of course, zero zero one. Then first group minus second group plus the third group. Seven hundred thirty-eight minus two hundred seventy-seven plus zero zero one is equal to four hundred sixty-two. And four hundred sixty-two is is still a bigger number. So we need to perform the first rule. And for for 462, the last digit is 2, so we multiply it by 2. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4, and then the remaining digit are 46, and we subtract uh, we subtract 4, and the answer is 42. And 42 is a multiple of 7. So 7 times 6 is equal to 42. Therefore, 1,277,738 is divisible. By seven. So number three, twelve million seven hundred seventy-seven thousand three hundred eighty. So we group it again by three digit from left to right, then alternatively subtracting and adding the group of three digit. First group three hundred eighty. Second group seven hundred seventy-seven. And the third group are zero twelve. Then we subtract again. First group minus second group plus third group. So three hundred eighty minus seven 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 plus twelve. The answer is negative three hundred eighty five. So this time the answer is negative. Still higher number. Then we perform the first rule. And the first rule, the last digit is negative five. So we multiply it by two. Negative five times two is equal to negative ten. Then we subtract it to the remaining number, which is negative thirty-eight. So negative thirty-eight minus negative ten. So negative negative. So it will become positive. So therefore, negative thirty-eight plus ten is equal to negative twenty-eight. And negative twenty-eight is a multiple of seven on the negative side. So therefore. If we divide twelve million seven hundred seventy-seven thousand three hundred eighty by seven, the answer is whole number. And twelve million seven hundred seventy-four seven thousand three hundred eighty is divisible by seven. Number four, nineteen million nine hundred seventeen thousand three hundred ninety-four. So determine if this is divisible by seven. So again, we will group in three digit from left to right. Then we alternatively subtracting and adding the group of three digit. So first group three hundred ninety four, second group nine hundred seventeen, third group is zero nineteen. So first group minus second group plus third group. 
So, 394 minus 917 plus 19 and the answer is equal to negative 504 and this is still higher number. So, we perform again the first rule. So, the last digit is negative 4. So, we multiply it by 2 and negative 4 times 2 is equal to negative 8. So, we subtract it to the remaining number which is negative 50. So, negative 50 minus 8. So, again, uh, negative, negative. So, negative 50 plus 8. And the answer is negative 42. And negative 42 is a multiple of 7 on the negative side. And the last examples are 140 billion, 12 million, 777 thousand. 380 how I wish this is my money so we need to determine if 140 billion 12 million 777,380 is divisible by 7 again group it in 3 digit from left to right then alternatively subtracting and adding the group of 3 digit and the first group are 380 the second group is 700 77 the third group is 12 and the fourth group is 140 so first group minus second group plus third group then again minus the fourth group so we have 380 minus 777 plus 0 12 minus 140 is equal to negative 525 and negative 525 is still a higher number so we need to perform the first rule so the last digit is negative 5 so we multiply it by 2 negative 5 times 2 is equal to negative 10 and the remaining number for negative 525 is negative 52 so negative 52 minus negative 10 and again 52 minus negative 10 so negative and negative 10 so it will become positive so negative 52 plus 10 is equal to negative 42 and negative 42 is a multiple of 7 on the negative side so therefore 140 billion 12 million 777 thousand 380 is divisible by seven.